what kind of applications are there for this? Uh, near as I can tell, there's no practical reason to ever do this under any circumstance. Welcome to What Have You Done? This is a segment where we explore things people do here at Empress. Today we got our friend here, Ted, self-proclaimed worst employee. Ted, why don't you tell us about yourself? How long have you worked at Empress? Uh, where do you come from? Uh, I've been here about six months. Uh, I mostly make blue bass compressors. It's mostly what I'm known for around these parts. It's a great great compressor. Great compressor. What else? Do you do anything else? Is there, or do you just... Uh, I mean, I have dabbled in silver bass compressors from time to time, but, you know, late nights, wild days. Incredible. Incredible. Well, we uh, appreciate your service, Ted. All right, let's get let's get to it, Ted. Let's let's, let's see what what do you got here? I see I see some kind of contraption here. What is, what am I looking at? Uh, so this is uh, an old Nikon film camera. This is an F90s, and so the way that a lot of a lot of these old film cameras would work uh, is that they they would complete a circuit. Uh, so rather than sending any kind of signal, it would <laughs> it would trigger the focus and the shutter just by completing a circuit. So this has kind of a unique 10-pin connector, but there's only three pins that are actually used. Uh, and so basically, if you think of it like a TRS, it's just ground left right. Uh, and if you just complete the circuit between those ends, you can cause it to focus or fire the shutter. This creation of yours, how 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 does it work? L explain it to me exactly. So this is just uh, the thing attached. So that's the cable out that goes to a TRS. And so this is your ground. And then one of these cables triggers the focus. And then the other one triggers the shutter. Uh, and so all I've done is instead hook that up here. So that goes into two relays, which are nine volt relays, which will close the circuit when they get nine volts of current. And so that's hooked up to the Zebu here. And then there's a note tracker, so it will track the note you're playing while you're playing a guitar in this case. Uh, and then if you hit a C sharp, it will trigger the camera to focus. And then if you hit the high E, it will fire the shutter. Incredible. It's, I am in awe. But I want to see it in action, Ted. Can we see this in action? Let's get a, you said a guitar, right? Yeah. Or a guitar. Let's get a guitar out here, folks. Come on. Guitar? You grab that guitar, Ted. Perfect. Little six string action here. Okay. So you said it was a it was a C sharp that would focus it? Yep. So right here. Okay, okay. And then wow. That is super cool. That's just so neat. I love that. So what kind of applications are there for this? Uh, near as I can tell, there's no practical reason to ever do this under any circumstance. I think there's universally an easier way to do this process. Okay. So, in, but can we can we see can we see the photo that we took at least, right? Uh, no, it's it's a film camera, so it would need to be developed. Uh, so it's not like a digital photo where you can see it immediately. It needs to be uh, it needs to be developed. Okay. Oh, analog guy. I see analog guy here. Okay. Old school. So when will you get, be getting the, the pictures developed? Oh, there's, there's no film in the camera right now. It's, uh, it's empty. Oh, okay. Um, that's a little disappointing. You know, I, was, I really, really wanted to see that photo. So it's it. I don't think I'm the only one thinking. I think, I think the audience and the viewers, they're all thinking the same thing. One question. Why? What brought this on? Well, the Oxford English Dictionary. Okay, I think we're out of time. Thank you so much, Ted. Anyway, join us next time on What Have You Done? Yeah.